Hey everyone, it's me. I wanted to make a video about what it's like to be in prison. <laughs> and not the kind of prison you're thinking about, but it's a situation similar to that because, you know, if you look at the judicial, I can't say it right, judicial system, <laughs> sometimes you'll have an individual who says they are not guilty you know, they were found guilty and they're serving a life sentence or a really long sentence, but come out and say, you know, I was not guilty of the crime that I have been committed for. And they end up sometimes learning about the law themselves and they go back to trial and are found not guilty due to certain evidence and such. And sometimes there are nonprofits that come forward to help them get out of prison and so on and so forth. But I want to talk about what it's like when it comes to parental alienation. I can say similarities are so uncanny because when someone disconnects from you and it is parental alienation, and they leave without saying anything. <laughs> Basically, what is happening is you're put into a prison cell. And you know that you're not guilty. And you know you don't deserve to, put, to be put in the cell. And you are consistently trying to figure out ways to figure out how to prove your innocence, but yet your child who has left has continually kept that key and has not allowed you to leave that cell. And being imprisoned in this type of manner is actually maddening because unlike jail, there has been a trial and there has been a jury and you know, it has, you, you've gone through the court system. But when it comes to parental alienation, it's so maddening because it can happen without recourse. All of a sudden, you know, your child decides that they no longer want to have a relationship with you. So they lock you up and throw away the key and basically imprison you and leave you fighting for your life to prove your innocence, to prove that you didn't commit the crimes that you're being accused of. And a, a lot of times, <laughs> you really honestly don't know. And, and it's maddening because you say, well, what was it something I did? Was it something I said? Was it something I wore? Was it the tone of my voice? Was it, and what is it? So you're left racking your brain trying to figure out how you can make amends and what you can do to make it right so that they release you and so that you can have some sort of communication. So all I want to say is that for me personally, I have tried to reach out and I have apologized and I, you know, there was a time when my oldest came back for a brief amount of time and then she took off again and there's no words to describe <laughs> you know the feelings the emotions the loss all of that that we go through and I just want to say that I can choose to be in prison and I can continue to try to fight this and prove my innocence and prove that they're wrong and I'm right. Or I can say, you know, this is your choice. It's not the way I thought things were going to turn out like. It's not what I had envisioned for our future. I thought I would be a part of your life and I would help, you know, see you off to college or, you know, be a part of your future in all ways that family normally is. But when it comes to the disconnect and 
someone simply up and going and imprisoning you and locking you in the jail cell. It's That's not okay. So there comes a point in time when we have to say, you know what? I'm going to take that key back from you. I'm going to release myself from this prison and you are not going to enchain me any longer. So therefore, I'm going to stop defending myself. I have a, admitted certain f faults for things that have been brought to my attention. I'm going to admit I wasn't a perfect parent. I am sorry. And I will acknowledge and admit wrongdoing if I have been wrong in certain things. But I'm going to take that key back because you're no longer going to keep me in here. I'm, I'm releasing myself from this prison cell. I, I can no longer, I, I do not deserve to be in this cell, but also I'm going to stop fighting this. I'm, I'm going to give it up. I'm going to hope that you are going to be living your very best life. And I hope someday you, for, you can forgive me and, and release yourself from your own prison because living a lie, living a secret, and, and disconnecting from people, and then trying to control everyone else around you so that they don't communicate with the person you've chosen to disconnect from. That's an awfully big load to carry. So anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about. I hope this video helps someone. And Please release yourself from that prison. You don't belong there. So we'll talk soon and I'll be back. Bye-bye.